Ria chilling in the back seat. And now said the wheel. Now. After after an unfortunate game crash. Let's hope uh Let's hope things are fine now. So let's do what I was doing previously. Yeah. So uh I was just telling Ria that I've been doing a little bit of that thinking she's always on about. And uh I am going to start this tower from the inside and then just go, you know, top to bottom. Okay. And as you can see, this, we've already started. Yeah, this is where the game crashed on us. Yeah. But you know, so far so good. Let's hope it's what. It's just a one-off, and it's not gonna, you know. Shit itself again, as it's known to do. I was not going to put it in as nice a turn as you used, but yeah. So. Have you considered using mm, detergent? Liquids, clean liquids. I have considered that. And uh, after some careful consideration, I have decided against it. Why? Because I want to, like, save up money. But we have money. I just use the... Come on. Jump on, jump on top of the railing. Who we'll jump on top of the railing? Just, if you jump, uh... jump on top... And get closer, you won't have to use the point okay, one. Okay, but, but if I get closer... Okay, let's... Just be very careful. Good job. Yeah, it only took me like seven years. So, let's try... Whoop. Let's try this on for size. Careful not to fall. Like, could you imagine, like, in real life, if you could not have fallen damage? I would not be afraid of heights. Oh no, I fell down. Now I have to climb all the way back. So, you mean, like, the Matrix? What? There was no fall damage in the Matrix. Wasn't there? Once new belief. Did you say once new believe? Because it kind of sounded like once new believe. <laughs> I said once new believe. Okay. That's oh no. The 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 worst is gonna. You know what? I will leave the rust for when I return here, and I will just focus on the walls. The walls I can clean. The walls are fine. And the rust, maybe that I'll do with the detergent. Okay. Man, like, Fine. The, the fucking football. I know it's gonna be like, oh, just have to power wash it to the, end, to the top of the, the tower and. Yeah, pro probably. Oh, it's gonna suck. It's a good thing that I have um, decided to approach this game without the completionist bent. Than usually on I don't know considering how jang this game is I mean, don't get us wrong developers of the game we like it that doesn't make it any less junk yeah we very much enjoy it when it works also there's a significant difference between junk and junk yeah I can't like exactly put it into words right now, but there is. It's a vibe. No, junk would still play. Junk is for the trash. Oh, like when I tried getting into the trend, the current trend uh, of playing a supermarket simulator, and I downloaded on a laptop that's 
frankly, That's junk. It, it, it would be on its last legs if I thought it had any legs left. But uh, yeah. Do you see the dirt on your left? I do see the dirt on your left. I will clean it. bothers me. Fine, let's. Uh, of course, there's under that. Oh no. Was that like the whole wall? The yeah. Inner, the, the, the inside entire, wall? Yeah, of the floor. The upper floor. Okay, so yeah, that's that's where the cutoff is. Okay. But there's still dirt. I know there's still dirt. Let you I'm cleaning okay. now. Come on. Have some faith in me. Part seventy three. Please go back and clean there. So that we can end this. It's been 50 plus episodes of the Drill Tower. And I want to play Dredge <laughs> soon. Wow, way to spoil it for the folks out there. I mean, we've already mentioned it once. Who's ever watching start to finish? They know it's Dredge on my list of things before we finish that Elden Ring run. Also, uh, you should know guys that all of these casual little games like Power Wash Simulator, uh, they are where the good parts are at because those episodes are the episodes where we drop the war. What are you saying? I don't think I'm following your train of thought. The episodes where we talk about ourselves. Oh yeah, because... Th those are lore episodes. Yeah, because it has to fill the silence. Yeah. Because someone's scared of silence. No, otherwise it, the the whole gameplay of this will be like... Yeah, but you, you can still move, you know? Yeah, but if it's just this, people will be like, Oh, I have to pee, and they won't be able to finish the episode. And you know I'm right. What are you still doing here? I'm trying to finish the the, the railing, obviously. You so said you were going to come back. I and did. You're done. I did, but then I managed to clean the the other three. Okay, that's the wall. That's the ledge. The ledge is probably dirty on the outside, though. Okay, let's go down. have so much of the stairs to clean and this will take more than the fire station probably well since we've already decided that i'll be doing this part how about you don't worry about it how about you don't tell me what to do okay worry about everything but that You're you not don't, the boss don't tell me, me what to do i'm not supposed to worry about anything but i don't need your approval i, I just tried to logic bomb you can. Like I am a walking logic bomb. You can. Li like when the computer in Warframes was like, play tic tac toe until you win, against yourself until you win. I have to watch war games again. Like I remember when I was, uh, I think I wasn't even in my early teens. I think I was about eleven or twelve when I saw war games for the first time. Uh, it was on TV, and like you know, for a movie from the early 80s about computers, it's kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've seen it. Oh, it's kind of dope. One of uh, Matthew Broderick's earlier roles, it's a nice little thriller, mm -hmm. and it's kind of quotable. Like, I still remember a strange game, the only winning move is not great. It's a bit cheesy, gotta admit. Listen, it it is cheesy now because of overuse. And if something is very quotable... Yeah. Do you think it's been made to be quotable? Do you think it knows it's quotable? Oh, Doesn't that steal away from it? Well, 
I think it depends because you know what I'm getting at, right? Our favorite author, favorite in big airports. Oh, okay. We're not gonna mention. Let's not name drop him. Yeah, we're not gonna <laughs> name drop that author, but there is a person. So, uh, first, I would really like to genuinely answer your question because I think your question posits an assumption, an assumption that. Uh, you can design something to be quotable and I think quotability whether it's a, a, a song a book or a movie or a TV show uh, quotability is not just something being written well it's about being performed well it's about being presented well like uh, for example we watched Jurassic World Dominion the other day right and um i'm just cringing over here why <laughs> I don't know. why are you cringing it was bad that's beside the point like you know how good jurassic park is right yeah and you can still quote part of parts of the movie clever girl is from that but you know clever girl isn't like a random phrase it's like a phrase that a hunter uses in a very specific manner in order to showcase that the raptors are actually intelligent and you know it sets them up and it sells them as being legitimately dangerous uh, yeah but clever girl is not exactly the quotable part yeah something worthy of oh. being quoted okay but you know what is worthy about being quoted what um worthy of being quoted i should have said uh you your scientists were so preoccupied with where they could that they didn't stop to think about where they should that's that's your boyfriend that's ian malcolm that's what he says <laughs> why is he suddenly my boyfriend i mean Be gay, because you have a massive crush on him and i'm not like you know insecure about it yeah because He's played by Jeff Goldblum. And yeah, but the thing is, imagine being insecure by Jeff Goldblum is just a waste of time. You can never beat him. I know, but again, beside my point, imagine any other actor in this role. Imagine any other person delivering this quote, this line. But also, I, I have to be honest. Yeah. I read the books before I saw the movie. You did. Yeah. So you were the one person. <laughs> Well, we had we had them at home, and you know, the books preceded the movie. Th that you, you think? So I I read the books first, and yeah. I was a huge fan of Ian Malcolm before the movie. <gasps> oh no! You were a little hipster. You liked him before he was played by cool Jeff Goldblum and all sexy and draped. Yes. <laughs> Arm draped over the knee. Yes, I was capable of appreciating. Uh, good writing even back then hot uh, but yeah you, you, but do you see what I'm saying like quotability is like um, a, a few factors converging together it's not just something being written well y you do understand what I'm saying right but you're kind of imposing uh, the delivery as well as part of the mix well, oh yeah the delivery and we're still talking about books i i know i know and, and and that's that's the thing i i don't think a book can be uh like formulated for quotability I mean... like you have to have an attachment to characters. You can't just introduce like a character and have him be all, look at me, I'm so cool because I said this thing and people are going to be like, you me. I'm going to make it art words. You still like haven't that. read those last two books by that one author, right? I have not. Well, but get I back to me in six months when you have. Why are you giving me six months to do it? I don't know, because I used the second book to put myself to sleep. So, we had this conversation about this author, uh, because I have read their previous uh, previous series, 
and I shared an opinion that at some point that author became a bit full of themselves and uh, listen it's a, it's a personal pet peeve of mine when when authors use their characters to talk about how important books are like I get it I understand you love reading you love pandering to your fans books are great but Consider this, like, imagine a movie that has nothing to do with movie making, because there are movies about movie making. And then imagine a character in a movie going like, oh, but movies are so important, movies are like the best, movies are like uh, uh, this amazing new medium of sharing ideas and creating and exploring spaces and themes and stuff. Like, honestly, that's yeah. his smallest in. Wow. <laughs> it's just, listen, people like Tarantino, for example, they can put in conversation about movies and stuff, like, but, but he, for, as, you know, it's questionable, like, he is as a personality, because, I don't know, I kind of don't like the guy. Uh, he seems a bit full of himself. Um... But, you know, for all of that, his dialogue is memorable and he can direct a good performance out of the people performing the dialogue. But you're still mixing I the know, I know. All of it. What I'm saying is... Because, of course, uh, even if it's uh, snotty and just too long and pointless as it's written, if it's delivered well, you might ignore the fact that you've spent the last five minutes listening to a single sentence that could have been five words long and, and get the exact we, same, same pro yeah, point across and we yeah. could have moved on from there i understand and i was about to get that because there is there is uh, to me an equivalent of delivery in written form but that's when you have explored the character enough or when you have introduced the character well enough in order to have some sense of them in order to establish them with their moods and their flaws and their goals like if you can do that because we have another author that we read and you know they're switching povs and there's characters that we like and, and characters just that we don't long -winded like. in the writing. Yeah, but like it's good. It makes sense for that character. Because it's in the right place. Yeah. And at this point, because it's a bit of a long series, you're familiar with the character. And and you can imagine them thinking and speaking the way they are written to you. Thinking and speaking. And it makes sense. Whereas this other person, all of their characters sound the same. It's just soundbite after soundbite and it's snarkiness after snarkiness. Like it's been written for March. Like, exactly. Exactly. Who said that first? Like You did. I did? <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Because, okay, uh, so this is, this is going to not sound familiar if you're not into, like... Uh, a lot into books but there are the equivalent of special editions and extra editions and like uh, exclusivity um, and like limited editions of, of books and most of them come with some like, cool little gifts like I don't know um, a bookcase, I mean, uh, uh, like uh, not, like the book thingy, a book jacket, I, I yeah. meant to say. A uh, yeah, a dust jacket. I, I, I was thinking of a phone case for some reason, and I mashed them together. Uh, and also, like... <laughs> Imagine if they ship bookcases just for purchasing a special edition of a book. Well, if it's expensive enough and it's cool enough, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, uh, stickers, tote bags, yeah, uh, at the very least, bookmarks, and most of these will have a quote on them like something that is, uh, 
uh, associate with the um, like the series or like a sentiment that is across all of them or like some arc words and phrases and stuff like that or like cool moments from from, from the book or the series well, well what i need to say is there is merch there is a lot of merch a lot of book merch and a lot of money to be made from it yeah and you know we are also the suckers we have limited we edition both. books <laughs> yeah but first of all you know what what oh is this the water jet people i'm having a frightful time with the ordinary what what uh any chance you can give it a quick whiz can't help but notice that your ad says power wash you do realize that involves hot water you should change the wording of your ad to pressure wash unless you're planning an upgrade soon okay weird guy i'm so confused i don't know that was two different people um, and like we are guilty of buying book merch. So, you know, we're not just shitting on people who do this. Like, we are the people who do this. And, like, that author we originally started talking about, at some point, it seems like they're just writing for the book merch. Yep. And, and it's annoying, like, oh, that's a cool sentence, let me try and build, like, a page and a half up to it. Yep, I'm trying to sound like Shakespeare. Oh, okay, I think you're giving a bit too much now. That only shows you haven't read those two books. Okay. What, are they generic or something? No, just the language. Yeah. That's not the English of normal people. It's is it the English of douches? Yeah. Like like T Tony Stark in the first Avengers. Does mother know it you're wearing her drapes? Basic. Or, or whatever the, the quote was. The line was. It it's a quote when I do it. It's a line when it's, I, I I have to like take some time and Relearn English? Uh, no, just recategorize words and meanings and things. I think we're too old for that. No. No, we're not. Listen, if if a lady can win uh, a Hugo for a debut novel that she wrote at 50 years old, like, we're fine. Sorry, what? I blast out for a second i said that if there's a lady who can win a hugo for her best novel with her debut novel at 50 years old which she wrote at 50 years old eh, then we're fine there's still hope for us there's always hope for us remember what i recently said to you after the the, the, the last movie you saw no i have 22 years oh to get to Hugh Jackman's age, which means I have 22 years to look like him. Until I look like him. Or like to look like him. Whatever, you I got I don't think that will be enough time, honestly. I, I just can't, I just can't eat all of that chicken and broccoli. Like, my farts, oh, my as nasty as they are now, it's just gonna be so na much more nasty. How long has it been since we last cooked chicken? Because you know, I've eaten chicken. I think you've eaten chicken as well. Well, But I don't think we've cooked chicken in, what, four months it's, now? Listen, at some point, and I'm not going to point fingers, but one of us basically started crying that they don't want any more chicken. I just didn't want to eat it or cook it. I didn't want to cook it myself. And that's why I was doing things with chicken, and then at some point but you were like, I don't want any more chicken! I can't! It's everything you know about cooking chicken, you know, from me. It's like eating my own cooked chicken by proxy. Well, but the thing is... Now I'm I, so tired of it. But, but the thing is, I, I thought that it was just the, 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 you know, the act of cooking that, that was bothering me. 
Okay, like if you want some chicken, I'll make you some chicken. I want you to make me chicken. I eat take chicken on the regular at work. Wow. And I don't know. It's, it, it, it's better, isn't it? Yeah. Because I haven't cooked it. Okay. Let's see how this is. There was this one time at the peak of my disdain for chicken that me and a friend went out for, for dinner to grab a bite and I ate chicken alfredo and it was fabulous because I hadn't cooked it Wow Have, have you no shame? Depends. Why did you not clean that spot? Because I'm going to get to it from the outside anyway. It's part of the windowsill. Um, you know what? How about I try something just to do, because it, it's uh, becoming apparent that I'm not going to uh, finish the, the the tower right now. Come on, like. Just clean it. It's the only spot. Fine, I, I, I will clean it. I'm, I'm, I'm passing it now. There it is. There it is. Happy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's still dirty on the outside though. Uh, but let's... Why am I being so careful down the stairs? Why, just... I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump through the window. I, I can't can. I can't jump through the window. Oh god, the slowness. It's gonna kill me. Just go forward. Okay. Just come on. Come and on. Now to the left like a crab. You don't have to take the turns. No, no, I kinda had to. Okay, so let let me try where is the Okay. I wanna see how how did I rotate it? Like this. I'm going to place it like that uh, and let's see now can I come on oh I have to I have to rotate why uh, because the the platforms are on that side oh. uh, okay like that and then like this get just a bit closer place. So you see, I'm, I'm doing it uh, at this angle so I can uh, reach both sides mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, listen, I know it's not going to work because do you see that pillar? I wouldn't be able to clean behind it from this angle, but you know, let me just... Whoop. Yeah. Okay, so I have the reach. Which is good. Well, that's nice. That's not too bad. No, it isn't, right? Um, so, you see that part? I'm definitely going to have to go on all four sides. Well, of course, you have two more walls, which you cannot reach from here. Yeah, but also because, you know, behind this, I can't hit it from the angle I am. Sure. Uh, but at the very least, uh, I know it's possible now. And it probably won't take me that much time. So, let me just finish up a little more of this and we're gonna end it for now and we'll pick the next episode from the fire station from the fire station yeah, yeah. because uh, to give you some variety guys exactly and not just have a tower and also let me just why why am I hitting my head on it why would you do this to me? I have to look at the stairs. You don't in, have to. to. But I do. I do because it happens as it does. And it bothers me. Yeah. Yeah. You see that? 
Yeah, it, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Um, the the episode I do when I finish the tower, that's gonna be a breeze. I'm not getting anything to light up, am I? No. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Look at this. This is all for you. Yay. But okay. next time. Next time. Bye. Bye.